In this video, we will see how do we work with the dates functions with the help of Excel VBA macros. Now, suppose if I want to display today's date or if I want to convert some one part of date to another part of date, if I want to add some days, months or years or if I want to delete something, how do I do that? In this series, we will be seeing everything related to dates part. Let us see that. So first thing is, I will show how to work with a simple dates format. Let us see. I will just go to the developer tab, click on this visual basic. Remember the name of the file is Excel VBA miscellaneous. Everything will be coming in this dates, time and everything. Now, I have created a module named as A underscore dates. Okay, the module name. And I have created a sub procedure that is date one underscore date. Let us see. I will first define a variable and assign some date to that. So I will define a variable A as variant and I will say as A equal to date. That's it. A equal to date. So whatever date is today's date with respect to my system date that will be stored under this A variable. Date is a function inbuilt function by VBA. Today's date or you can say system date will be captured and stored into that particular variable and I want to display that variable value that's it very simple so if i click on run button the value of a will be today's date if i click on run button so today's date date is 24th of november 2016 the day which we are recording i'll click on ok and that will be displayed into that particular area itself that's very simple again even if you put double you know brackets here and if you come down if you put a brackets and if you come down somewhere the brackets will be removed and the date will be given as it is so there's no difference into this part that is one formula here itself let us see one more if i want to convert my date let's say i've written 31st december dec 2020 if i want to convert the, that date into my normal date how do i do that normal in the sense mmddyy let us see i'll create one more sub procedure here sub procedure date two underscore c date why I'm writing C date because I'll be using this function C date means convert to date and again I'll define a variable B as variant and I'll say as B equal to C date B equal to C date and I'll type here as 20 December 2020 and message box B. So if you observe carefully what I've done is I have just defined uh, a variable dim B as variant B equal to convert date what you have to convert this particular text whatever is given 20 December 2020 that you have to convert into a B okay and you have to display that message box. So I'll keep my cursor here and click on run button. So if you observe 20th of December 2020, now it has displayed as MMDDYY. Okay, I'll click on OK. So that is given as MM, you can see as MMDDYY and it has displayed it. So remember there's one function that is C date inbuilt function which helps you to convert this particular text into your date format and you can display the same date into your you know with the help of this message box right so i hope you are able to understand these two functions date and the c date part itself that's all for this video